Welcome! I am a duck. Don't you dare this to do this. 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 Welcome to the very first very fair. No, this is actually the 13th furry thoughts. No, this is the second one, fucker. Yeah, you're right. This is the second one. This isn't furry thoughts. This is quick play. Like you mentioned the last time. Yeah. You said it was full play, but actually it was furry thoughts. Which actually was versus before, but we didn't do that because you didn't like it. I did like versus. I never said I didn't like versus. So you're breaking. You're making that up as we speak. Yeah, you're right. You want mayonnaise with that? No, ketchup. We'll settle that. That'll be fine. Anyways, I'm Otter. And I'm Weasel. And we are back for more furry furry thoughts. Especially today. We are very furry. Indeed. We have a lot of dim things to talk about. Like what? Like Gamescom. Like? In Cologne. Like? Cologne. Like? Cologne? Like wearing Cologne? Buckets. Uh, yeah. Cologne in Dutch Germany. And some bucket things. And we'll get to that later. related stuff. And of course, also, we couldn't really miss this little point because we're kind of hit by it as well. Robin Williams. May he rest in peace. Yes. I loved him in Flubber. What was your favorite Robin Williams? Ooh, is he one? Uh, I remember uh, quotes from him. Mm-hmm. Like, good morning, Vietnam. Oh, yes. That was him, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Uh, by the way, the British media made a blunder with that. What did he do? Uh, a blunder. But what? But you know, uh, <coughs> he hung he hung himself, right? Yeah. And ex- asphyxiation. Yeah, asphyxiation. Beautiful English word for something very yeah. morbid. But the British uh, TV um, sent out uh, a scene of Good Morning Vietnam, which he he states. Um, a sentence with the following words: Yeah, I just go hang myself, or really in the, in that tone. Yeah, and yeah, viewers noticed, and they oh. were outraged, like, "Whoa, what the fuck? This is not inappropriate. I'm not appropriate at all." That's very fucked up. Yeah, but it wasn't, of course, their intention to do it. So, oh well, should we just continue with Ron Willis? We're already talking about it anyway. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're both well. You, you, I'm, I'm always a little bit weird when it comes to that sort of thing. I find it weird to say I'm sad because you don't know the guy, but I no. kind of am actually. This may sound hard, but I'm I'm not sad in a way like f- for myself. Yeah, but I'm sad for or no, I'm sad for a family. Yeah, and and a little bit shocked, I would say. Yeah, but I I didn't know him, of course, personally. As a person, uh-huh. duh, but also but just as a person. I, I I wasn't a fan of his work, to be honest with me, mm-hmm. to be um, with yeah, you. You can be honest. But it felt like, I mean, in, in your age, we know, in your in your era, to call it this. Yeah. Um, when a, an actor dies, it, it feels weird. Like yeah. some some th- something of that era just dies with you. Especially with all the the details around it. I mean, he had an addiction and he was going into rehab for it. Mm-hmm. But his life went smoothly. He had a beautiful, um, d- beautiful daughter. Still beautiful had a wife. wife. Beautiful wife, indeed. And yep. he was making a good career for himself. I mean, you can see it breaks up people sometimes. It's kind of tragic, actually. Like they can't handle the success. Yeah. That's Mike usually Silas, what happens. JB. Yeah, but why don't it? No, let's not go there now. That's not appropriate. No, is it? Yeah, I just want to say why don't they do it then? But <laughs> we should always value a life. That's true. Sorry for those morbid dark thoughts. Still, let's found call this episode "Dark Thoughts." Dark thoughts. <laughs> Still found it funny that Orlando Bloom kicked his ass, though. Same here. Yeah. But he didn't land the punch. I saw the, the film. What what happened? I didn't see it. Um, there were uh, 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 multiple versions of it. Yeah. Um, there was a version where nothing happened, like you mostly see on those websites, like oh my god, punch yeah. and nothing happens. But there was a version yeah. who you can see uh, Orlando Bloom getting up to JB and throwing a punch. But of course the punch didn't connect because all of his loyal bodyguards were blocking oh, the punch of right. Orlando Bloom. So he never got a punch. Apparently it, 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 it the, the, the fight itself was because of the ex of JB, mm. the ex of Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Un- unimportant shit for us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's enough JB. Yeah. Uh, continue about... 
Yeah, a more we're talking about a more, very more important man for this century. And that man is, of course, Robin Williams. By the way, did you know that? A fun fact that he... No, not that. Okay, it's a fun fact. It, he, is, it he, is. He played a lot of World of Warcraft. He played a lot of games, actually. Mm -hmm. Do you know the name of his daughter? Zelda. Yep. Quite an awesome name, actually. Mm -hmm. I thought Zelda. it was pretty cool. It is, an, it is actually a good name. It is. Yeah. But the most important part of this um, story of us is that World of Warcraft creators have announced yeah, that awesome. they are going to uh, put Robin Williams not as a playable character but as a character in yeah. game of World of Warcraft after he's gonna be dozens an, of fans. He's going to be an NPC. Yeah, because dozens of fans like they were uh, signing a petition of yep. him getting in the game. It's very cool, and also how the creators uh, react to that. They say like we're gonna eternalize, and it's like this yeah. is fucking awesome. I mean, I that's, like that's, that that's, that's an ode to Robin Williams. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. So Thoughtful. Robin Williams, great coming to World of Warcraft. Not so good, he died, but may he rest in peace, and may his soul find rest. Whoa! Last time I forgot to do something in the furry thoughts. What did you do? Oh shit! I forgot the random Dutch words oh, of the no. week. Oh no, no, no! Oh no! So today we're going to do two words, or no, a sentence in Dutch. Are you gonna continue doing this? Fuck. It's the, the big, big one. one! I know. <laughs> Shut up. So welcome again to this very special episode of Dutch Words with Wessel. I mean Weasel. And Peter and Otter is over there. Bunny. Bunny. Are you a bunny that's punny? Okay. Um, I'm a bunny. I'm gonna do a sentence with the word I find. So let's go. And now I'm scissors. And now I'm a hand. Hispanisme. Nope. Another one. Dijkrechten. <laughs> Why not? Dijkrechts. Right. Yeah. Oké. Okay, um, dijkrechten. Dijkrechts. Sommige mensen hebben ook dijkrechten. Some people also have dijkrechts. Repeat after me. Sommige mensen hebben ook dijkrechten. Some people also have dijkrechts. Dyke rides. Hey, you, you can make an awesome song, by the way, uh, from Dyke rides. Dyke rides all on the floor. Dyke rides, give me some more. Dyke rides. Why are you, you? You. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, say something now. Really? Yes. He is constantly touching me. Before this episode, he was grabbing my throat and choked me. He was. He hurt my. Adam's apple? This, this, this thing here. I have no idea what it is in English. And he, he, he likes to cheek rape me, like you've seen in a few previous episodes. To mock me with, with his hands, like he's doing now. And to touch my ear in a very, very erotic way. And I don't like it. I feel like every time I'm here, I'm getting, like, violated by him. And... To me, it's like, I, I don't know if I can take this anymore. I mean, every time I'm here, it's he's, he's constantly touching me or, or trying to touch me in a, in a weird fashion. And can you help me, please? Help me! <laughs> Off to another start, which, which is his profession, of course. Oh, we're gonna talk about games. Oh, I was saying prostitutes, but games is, is, is fun with me. <laughs> you wanna talk about prostitutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Gamescom went on this week, people. And uh, we just picked some highlights from the show, some interesting news bit, tidbits. Tits. Tits. And we're gonna talk about them. I showed some footage to Weasel, and he's all ready to talk and give his feedback and opinion about everything. Aren't you now? See? He's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a cool guy like that, you know? He's, just, he's a small guy. Everyone likes him. I like him. So, first game we're gonna talk about is Quantum Break. What do you think of Quantum Break, Weasel? Yeah, 
Did it live up to your expectations? What was the, the your favorite thing? And why? <laughs> Would you buy it? Would you buy it if I gave you money? <laughs> anyway, Quantum Break for Xbox One. An exclusive, of course, because Microsoft needs some. And uh, you saw a trailer, Weasel. What did you think so far? I already saw it, of course, on the last, on the last E3. Not this one. This is a new one. Yeah, but the I, I, saw, I saw the game. Yeah, 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 I saw yeah. the gameplay course, before yeah, the trailer sorry. in uh, in the E3 footage. Apologies. But um, uh, I don't know. It's um, it's spacey. It's music. Yeah, or that? It's spacey. Yeah, the music is spacey. The scenes where time stands still. What do they call it again? Stutters. Yeah, stutters. <laughs> Those I find really amazing. The graphic design on yeah. that scene, uh, on those scenes are Rem remember, ex exquisite. Remember that bullet before uh, the, the, the explos yeah. explo explosive white barrel thing? I don't know. Red barrel. It. Yeah, but the, the, Red other, barrel the, the, the other thing, the gas can the canister container, whatever, the white thing. Yeah. That was the same idea, like the bullet was before and then. <laughs> yes. Yeah, same idea. It wasn't the red barrel, but just some white thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, the gas tank. Yes, the gas yeah. tank. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Same idea. That was cool. It was fucking and cool. And bullet time, you saw. Um, you, you can see a clip. And in this footage, you can see a guy getting impaled by bullets. But just before the moment he gets impaled, the time around him stops. So if you look at the screen, you can see the bullets just hanging in midair. And when uh, the time is going back to normal, they all strike at once, like they hit his body. And I think it's a very cool animation of that scene. Yeah, I thought it was pretty damn cool as well. The only problem I had with it is that the combat looked so damn generic. Yeah? You generic, like not really original. No, the the the, 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 the combat gameplay, the like combat just fighting yeah, them. Yeah. It was cool True. that you saw the bullets, but I was like, this is they they gonna have to come up with real tough shit to make it hard because it looked pretty damn easy. Yeah, especially the boss fight. You yeah. have to um, battle against an organization. I I don't know. I don't know. So, something with Monarch. I don't know. Yeah, Monarch, no, Monarch something, 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 something. Yeah. And you can see uh, two enemies who can actually walk in the stutters, yeah, so like they, they can walk like in the in the in the paths of time. Yeah, they're basically juggernauts. Yeah. But those guys have a weakness, like I said, in their back, like mm -hmm. very very cliche. Red back, red red back. Red barrel cliche. Red barrel cliche. Um, back shot cliche. Back shot cliche. OP system. I think it's an OP system. From what, which, which, uh, what enemies what looked OP, didn't they? Yeah. They, they shit, they, like they shit, they blew up that car. I was like, oh wow. I was in the stutter, by the way. Oh, sorry. I was in the stutter. So you oh, were in. <laughs> He's stuck in the stutter as well. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I know what you mean. Like those guys shot those cars. You were like, oh right, there's only two cars left, and there's two guys. What the hell are you gonna do? Yeah, it's just, it's really. Yeah. But it, then again, the, the stutter gameplay, like I said, looked freaking amazing. It looked amazing. And then we were discussing about whether or not we could change and or alter things in the, the yeah. stutter itself. Because everything in the stutter becomes like... Yeah, frozen. Frozen. Like frozen in time. Even you can cars, hear, bullets, exactly. everything. You can, you, can, you can hear like what's happening if you co come close. You hear mm -hmm. it actually what screams and someone dies, for weird. example. But that's weird. That's weird, by the way. Because hmm? the time stops at the moment... Uh, at a random moment, yeah, something so happens, people so it's just dead still. Yeah, people can't finish the, their sentences. Why no. can't you hear half sentences being cut off? Yeah, yeah, but then again, you could say it's probably up to that point what you hear. Nothing after that. Maybe. That it's that, a good that, that that would be my theory then mm. to to make it right. Uh, and of course, it's a game, so you can't yeah. go on with a game with half. You need things. you need some suspense with disbelief and dramatization, dramatization yeah. of course. But those stutters look really awesome. Like yeah. my like they showed a little bit of gameplay afterwards with a little short of compilation at the end mm -hmm. that you had to run through. I think the the adventuring gameplay, if you want to call it like platforming puzzles, whatever, it's gonna be it, more interesting than the combat. It kind of reminded me of Infamous. Infamous, yeah. Like the the uh, yeah, kind of yeah the style of the game. Like a little yeah. more bit and interacting with the environment. Of course, there are a lot of games that can, you can in, 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 uh, interact with the environment. But also, this one was particularly feeling like. Also, uh, we infamous. didn't see anything about the show element we talked about in the Fury no. previous Fury Thoughts. And I no think, word about it. I think I think it's it, they're gonna wait until the game finally. Yeah, they comes don't want to spoil anything probably. Yes. 
Ah, that I, makes sense. I, I think, I don't hope that it's gonna be a, f a, a fluke, but I think it's gonna be like a bold and a beautiful thing. <laughs> like how? GTA <laughs> State. Yeah, but like how? The same style, like over dramatization and. Oh, no. Like. I'm close still, ups and stuff. I'm but still excited for it, but the initial wow when we saw that first trailer with the lady between the glasses is a bit gone. Was well, gone. Yeah, it's, for me it, it was gone. Yeah, it's still like, yeah, this is gonna be a good game. But you're now it's more like, no, this is not gonna be well the cram de la cram, not the diamonds. It's just gonna be good gold. That's what I think. I mean, nowadays it's very hard to make actual diamonds out of games. I mean, it's very hard. Very hard. There's so much choice nowadays in games, consoles, games in themselves, but the content. There is another game which comes very close to me, I would say, in style. Journey. You watched. Journey. Journey? Ori and the Blind Forest. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, that yeah. was for me, it's just an indie title, and it's also an Xbox <coughs> exclusive, if uh, I remember correctly. And that game looked awesome. The you, colors are amazing, yeah. and the gameplay itself looked very smooth. Yeah, it looked very cool. To say the least. I mean, mm -hmm. it's very. I, I can see it's a very artistic game. It's yeah. like you said, really an indie game. It draws heavily on the style. Yeah. Yes. So I'm actually kind of, kind of um, curious about the storyline. What's the storyline? What's the motivation of the character? What can the character do? Then you know the trailer is good, right? Like the style captures yeah. you and you think it's beautiful. Yeah. And then you're think, then you're thinking through further, like what's it gonna be about? And then they have you almost already. I think that's a good thing, at least for their on their end. I don't hope it's it's a puzzle game, like puzzle elements. I don't like those in, nah, in games. Maybe maybe smallish. I mean, probably some platform puzzles. You know, like not that you have to uh, figure out an actual puzzle, but probably you have to time something real quickly or yeah. something like that. And the style of the game is like you see, it's a 2D style, but mm -hmm. then with 3D um, graphics yeah. and elements, of yeah. course. Very cool game. I that's something I'm really looking forward to. And um, maybe we will playing it. Yeah, who knows? Why who knows? not? You money? Yeah, you have money. Enough. I have money enough. You have enough money. And I'm probably gonna get an axe bone. So, to do. I'm not sure if we should, you know, t talk about Tomb Raider yet. That might be a long discussion. Listen, that, uh, we're gonna save it for the last one. We're gonna one. save it. That's a good one. The Halo Channel. That was an interesting one. Yeah. Before, so before we go, you. yeah. Before we go and talk about that. Where the fuck was Halo 5 Guardians, Microsoft? This shit is a little bit getting out of hand. Everyone's like, now it's Gamescom, it's your time to shine because your last E3 was better than last year, but still not very good. And now you're just like, no, no, there's more information about the Master Chief Collection and also something called the Halo Channel, which you compared it to, what was it again? Elite from, Elite Call, of from Call of Duty. Yeah. Comes very close, I would say. I don't know if Elite had also Community content. No, I think. I videos. think. Uh, did, it, did it have that? I didn't. I don't know that. But I think the generic style of be making mm -hmm. a platform, making a, a, a platform a, a, for one entire yes. series or game. But um, I, from what, from, what, from what I saw and yeah. from what I know, I think the Halo one is. From what I saw, I, um, I think the the Halo one is bigger, mm -hmm. more di more diverse than Elite itself. Yeah. Um, I haven't um, thoroughly invested Elite, I have to say that, but from what I saw. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, well, you said it's in interesting for me, and that's true, because right now you have Halo Waypoint, which is kind of similar to the Xbox 360. Mm. Also videos and ranking Waypoint. system. Wait, Waypoint. Same idea, platform, many videos about the game, all kinds of things around it, background info, uh, rankings and stuff. So I think it's basically something like that, and I think it will probably run. Your comment about give I'll give it two years might be true. You never know yeah. that with such stuff. It will spike in, uh, yeah. in a few months, in the first few months, but then again, it will die off very yeah. slowly. I so, think. Yeah, I, I think you're probably right on the developers' end that at some point they don't have that much time anymore to be. I mean, it's an American thing. Inspired or heavily inspired, heavily uh, engaged in making the videos. It's probably going to yeah. be community driven from then but on. But uh, what, what I just said, it, it's an American thing. Not mm -hmm. that I want to be insulting or something, but American have this kind of way. Of working you work towards a certain goal yeah. and if they acquire the goal you stop with it yeah it happens sometimes I'm I also very much like that they're integrating twitch into it you yeah that's a good say one that's a really very good one you see people stream uh, on that thing everything's in one platform so that's pretty beautiful we'll see how it goes then we'll move on to some other teasers which were shown at Sony which had a lot more interesting stuff to be honest I'm yeah I'm gonna be really honest here because I'm an Xbox boy Sony did it again. They came up with a with a teaser for Until Dawn, which is an exclusive <laughs> a horror game in a cabin. 
from what I saw, you played a bad guy. I might need to do some more research on it, but it seemed like that. And it looked a bit like a B movie, didn't it? I would say a C movie. It was this uh, <laughs> yeah, typical plot. Yeah. Eight <sighs> friends in a forest, annual thing. And mm -hmm. one of them every time is going to die because, well, we don't have full cell phones. Uh, we can't defend themselves. Yeah. We are with eight people. We can't defend ourselves against one villain. Yeah. That cliche thing. And of course, he has some kind of jigsaw-ish face. Yeah, like Jason. Jason also. What? Whatever. A any generic villain, basically. Oh, he, 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 he wore a mask of a little bit like It, the clown. Yeah, that's actually what I was thinking about. He reminded me of that, like not even it being a mask, just being his face and extra, extra wide or something. I think It's a very scary movie. And then another teaser came up. Yep. I wasn't there because I was at my girlfriend when it happened, the Gamescom. I watched everything oh. back later. Oh my god. And there was a special interactive teaser on the internet. Something brand new, never shown before. Silent Hill. No idea what it was and how it felt like. But Silent Hills was announced. Oh, no, you said it wrong. Silent Hill. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. They added an S. Yeah, it's Silent Hill. That's Hideo Kojima's way of saying haha. He just likes to fuck with people. But Hideo Kojima from Kojima Studios he said, Why is all behind it. And he said that as well, probably. And he's the guy behind Metal Gear Solid and some other awesome games. And he's a guy and behind he's a his guy. wife. And he likes... <laughs> he's a guy behind his wife. <laughs> he's the guy behind Metal Gear Solid and he's gonna produce the game. Cre develop it even. No, he's, yeah, he's gonna produce and develop it. In conjunction with Guillermo de Toro. The director of Pan's Labyrinth and I think Another also Pacific character. Rim. Oh yeah, he did that as well. Oh. I think it's. I, I'm really excited. That's a a cool combo. And also a very famous actor. Mm -hmm. He's gonna probably star. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you recognize him immediately. Yeah, he's from the Walking Dead series. Yeah. What is his name again? I don't know his name anymore. Okay. Well, just Very great it, name. We'll just yeah, we'll just put the name in. But it's uh, the crossbow guy from The Walking Dead. The badass guy who couldn't who, could, yeah. who couldn't die. Exactly. So I'm not sure if he's gonna star because we're just a teaser, but probably some. By the way, let's stare awkwardly in the camera for ten seconds. One, two, three, go. And we're back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then there was Wild. We saw Wild. Yeah. It's a teaser from a, a Rayman creator. He, he set up an indie studio and he's making Wild, which we're showing right now, and which looks like a very badass game. The first thing I thought was, is this Monster, Monster Hunter? Is this a, a game adaptation of 10,000 BC? It gave me a brother's feeling. The music definitely did. Yeah. Like, and then some things happened I was like I'm not sure anymore what this is no it's, it's basically <laughs> in the trailer you see uh, a story not even a story but things yeah. and segments from the, the game itself it starts out with a caveman and a woman yeah and it's it's it's, it's it goes uh, with wolves and wolves women and walking in water while there's land a giant skeleton on the water yeah giant sort of like a giant, a giant woman in a tree <laughs> yeah. naked yeah very wild indeed. Mm. I'm very much interested, but I have no idea what the fuck to expect from is it, this. Is it PS3 or P I mean PS4? PS4? Only PS4. Yep. In your face. It's an exclusive again. Yeah, I'm like I said, I don't know what Microsoft is gonna do now, but Cry in a corner. Cry in a corner. Because oh I didn't even mention this, but they had right do you remember those games? Rise Son of Rome? The sort of Roman civilization game where you play a gladiator. Is it like Civilization? No, no, no. You play an actual gladiator. It's a hack and slash game. There was an Xbox One exclusive uh, last year. <laughs> so yeah, like you said, they're probably gonna cry in a corner because their exclusives from last year, Rise Son of Rome, and Death Rising 3 are coming to PC now. So they basically have nothing anymore to say buy an Xbox One because we have awesome exclusive. Sunset Overdrive is the last one, I think. Yeah, the Master Chief Collection, but why the fuck would you buy an Xbox One for that? With all due respect, I'm getting it. Yeah, why do you only have one here?
The Unfinished Swan. Yeah, Sony came up with uh, two old PlayStation 3 titles, Unfinished Swan and Journey. Beautiful indie titles. Journey is his fandom. Oh, fandom? God, I, lo I love it. I love that game. That's... Uh, that's... Mm, I want to play it. I just want to play it. And the Unfinished Swan is a really weird game. It's an indie game, right? Yep. And a lot of splatters. Yeah. It's it basically... It sounded it, weird. Um, it... it, it, it. <laughs> It re revolves around a white uh, environment. Yeah, a white environment. And you, the player, you are uh, capable of throwing black paint. And when you do it, it splashes on that thing. The environment. Wo environment, sorry, the white environment. And then a scene starts to come up. Yeah. Like buildings and yeah. monsters and. The paint basically makes the world. Yeah. That's pretty damn cool. The games are, of course, old from the PS3. But it was very cryptic. It was. Yeah, but the game, like I said, the game is already out. Really? You just saw an old team. These are old PlayStation 3 titles. Oh. That's what I said. They're just oh. coming to PlayStation 4. Oh. 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 But there was an interesting article where someone said that they're actually doing that for people who chose for the Wii last uh, generation. It's a, a theory. It's not confirmed or anything. Mm -hmm. But the idea is that Sony is actually bringing back the best games from PS3 to PS4. Remastered so edition. Sort of, but that, so that people that skipped PlayStation 3 and took a Wii or an Xbox can actually still play their PlayStation 3 uh, Clever, titles. clever marketing trick. It is. It's, trick? Pro it's probably a trick. It's mm. probably a marketing trick, but that, still, it's pretty cool to bring them back. You can get them for a discount as well if you own the PlayStation 3 edition digitally. So. Really? Yeah. Oh! Yarp. The last one. It's second to last. Oh, it's just some software. still have the Tomb Raider one, but that's a big one. Sony un also announced that there's going to be a new update for the PS4, it's uh, System Software 2.0. And there are a lot of features, because, but we are going to stick to one thing only. That's share the, play! The share play. Um, button? No. Bum. No, share play feature. Ah, feature, thank you. The share play feature uh, revolves around you playing with a friend from all over the world. Nothing new here. Yep. But then again, the new part about this is yes, you can play the game with your friend even though your friend doesn't own the game so if you yourself own the game your friend can play that's what they said in the trailer uh, in, also, the, in the in the dingus also, also in the dingus yeah the dingus. In, the dingus, in, in the dingus in the dingus in the dingus also your friend doesn't even have to download the title which sounds weird to me I would say you have to stream something how the yeah. fuck are you gonna play anyway but you don't have to download the full title to your hard drive but here is the on the grass yeah here's the catch But here's the catch, you can only play for two hours a day. Yep. And that's, they didn't mention. <laughs> no, of course not. Because why would Sony do that? They're really good marketing people, but... Way too clever for our own, their own good. Yeah. So if you're playing a game with a friend and you're two hours in and you are a very, at a very tough boss... <laughs> fuck you! Also... Fromage. Also... Set up! You need to have PlayStation Plus. Oh yes, so you have to pay, pay, pay. You have to pay, pay, pay. Now let's not begin over PlayStation uh, now, whatever the name is from the streaming service for old PS1 and PS2 titles, because that's already making me angry. So let's talk about Tomb Raider. Nah, never mind. All right. So let's talk about Tomb Raider. We saved this one for last because it uh, spawned quite some discussion on the internet. And for still, us as well. Still going. Rise of the Tomb Raider came for came on the Xbox conference, oh, like <laughs> <laughs> and it was announced to be come to come exclusively this holiday 2015 to Xbox One. After which the whole world was burning and people died, crucifying, and were crucified because fuck Xbox, and fuck Jesus. Crystal Dynamics. And I'm Jesus. never gonna play Tomb Raider again. And Jesus, he came back as well. He fucked Tomb Raider as well. He never wanna play it anymore. So, Tomb Raider, yeah. That shitstorm happens. Yep. And with good reason, I must say. But it wasn't very nice for Microsoft, because Crystal Dynamics mostly fucked it up in my opinion. In his opinion. In my opinion. In because opinion. I watched the entire conference. He did. And I, for me, it was evident that it was going to be a timed exclusive. Everyone was like, oh my god. Phil Spencer even quickly confirmed it when they asked him, saying, no, 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 it's just going to be a timed exclusive. He said it. Only Crystal Dynamics, which I'm gonna show right now, no. had some sort of statement, which 
kind of gave the idea it wasn't like that, not timed. So, big fuck up on their part? Not or... Or was it all a big ploy anyway, for PR? I go for a fuck up. Yeah, I'm also going for a fuck up. And I was just thinking. I was just putting up some fact and, uh, facts on a list. Like, one. When the, when the new Tomb Raider reboot was sold. After four weeks, Crystal Dynamics was whining they only sold 4.5 million units. and that wasn't, Only? Yeah, exactly. And that wasn't enough to cover costs. So I was like, how the fuck are you gonna cover your costs if you only publish your game on the Xbox One? But they're, and they're, they're already losing 3 to 1 on consoles and sales right now. And they Sony. can't handle the negative uh, media attention right now after the no. E3 fuck up of last year. Yeah, that's Microsoft, and I'm talking about Tomb Raider right now. The guys behind Yeah, but Crystal the Dynamics. Xbox One, I mean the Xbox exactly. itself. That's another thing I thought, like, did they really think this was gonna help from Microsoft's end? Like I said, they probably had the idea all along it's gonna be a timed exclusive, but they just fucked it up in communication again. Or, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a weird thing, I mean, after a fuck up that big uh, at last year's E3 from Microsoft or from mm. Xbox One... You would you say the communication yeah. department would be replaced by now, but no... Replaced, just like, replaced with robots, like, your error, you're, you're fired. You know, yeah. but then again, they I make it fuck man. up like this. I mean, it hurts. I think it's a fuck up. It hurts me a bit because sales were actually growing again for Xbox One. People were starting to trust it. The and then they dropped again. The Kinect was gone, and that was actually pretty funny. They dropped the Kinect from the bundle, and the sales like spiked like crazy. <laughs> so yeah, bye bye Kinect. But it, what, what, what was the other thing to think about? It was the thing about Crystal Dynamics. Then there was the idea that I thought they were gonna go bankrupt anyway if they did it. And there was something else, but I can't quite remember what that means. Yeah. Well, oh well, yeah, that well, was multi-platform oh. before. Oh yeah. It wasn't all platforms before. Why would you all of a sudden go somewhere else? I mean, maybe, because a, maybe a big bag of money, but not even Microsoft has that kind of money anymore. At least not the Xbox departments. Nope. And just stockholders and uh, other things are saying other things. <laughs> And stockholders and investors in the Xbox and Microsoft department are just saying Xbox um, uh, to Microsoft, just let Xbox go. Yeah. Just let it go. It's becoming a, a, a crippled child. Yeah. Idea. Yeah. That, uh, that's actually a pretty good analogy, I would say. Like the child who tries to, to compete and he's really doing his best. A little bit like the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> which is the, which slowly getting better now. What did you think about uh, the, the whole Tomb Raider debacle? What's your opinion about it? Let us know. Right now in the in comment the section below. below. I think there's one more story to be told. Yes, I went on a fishing trip. No, I'm, I'm gonna grab my bucket list. So I went fishing for the past couple of days and I did catch some fish. Fish! Indeed. But I also catched something else, and it was kind of like a comic book thing. A condom? No, it was like a, in, when you see in comic books, like they catch a shoe or whatever. Mm -hmm. I caught a fucking bucket. <laughs> I <sighs> threw in my line, I took it in, and I felt a snag. Like, Oof. So naturally, I thought, oh, it's oh a fish! God. Fish on! Fish! As I wanted to reel it in got stuck and I'm like <clears throat> yanking the rod and oh, it's not coming loose so I decided okay I'm gonna cut my line so I walk backwards for it to break and then it came loose so I pulled it it was very heavy I think oh what's this is it it's a branch or something no it's a fucking bucket a bucket filled with mucus stuff and cum a bucket filled filled with the nastiest things you can imagine like Mud, shit, and I don't know what it was, but was there I, actually shit in there. It looked like shit. It smelled like shit. Oh. So I, I think it's shit. Oh. Yeah, I, I believe you. Don't worry. So I, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I took it out of the river, and I was like, Ugh. Mm -hmm. it smelled. Yeah, you weren't like, oh, I got a new bucket. No. And while I was looking in the bucket, I saw something quite interesting, actually. Oh. I saw um, a bait for another fish. And I also caught a plastic bag. So the total of fish I caught in three days was two carps, one bucket full of mud, 
and a plastic bag full of shit, shit blah. Shit blah. Yeah, shit blah. It's a new word for me, shit blah. Shit blah. So yeah, wasn't very good. Yeah. And we are getting tired, so we are going to say goodbye and see you next time on Free Thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this one. I did enjoy it. Did you enjoy it? I thought All it was, right, I will see you next time. Bye. I thought it was fun. Weasel, you still there? Weasel?